Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the OPI Summer 2023 collection called Make the Rules. This collection consists of 12 beautiful polishes. I purchased these at polishpick.com. I will have them linked in the description box below for you in case you're interested in shopping any of these polishes. Like I said, there are 12 polishes to look at, so let's get right into the swatches. All right, so first up we have Bikini Boardroom, and this one is a Pearl Lavender Nail Polish. This is one of four of these pearlized polishes in this collection. The rest of them are creams, and this one probably has the better formula out of the uh, pearl nail polishes. This did cover for me in two easy coats. Formula was good, very easy to apply, no issues whatsoever with the formula. This one was not streaky, um, so very good formula here. Overall, really good polish. It's just going to depend on your personal preference and if you like these kind of pearly polishes. For me, I never really find myself reaching for them. Um, this one is a really pretty one, so maybe this one will make me reach for a pearlized polish. Next up, we have Sunscreening My Calls, and this one is a like pearl chartreuse, pearl yellowish, goldish kind of color. Um, this one, you guys, is just not doing it for me. I normally love like chartreuse dirty looking kind of yellows. I just think the pearl finish kind of throws me off here. Unfortunately, this one was, it had a lot of dark spots. Like I did the second coat and I could still see some dark spots. So I had to go in for a third coat. And I just feel like the third coat shouldn't be necessary here with, with you know, especially with this pearl-like finish. It just really shouldn't be necessary at all. Unfortunately, I did need it though. And after the third coat, I got full opacity. Again, the formula wasn't a bad one. It just didn't, you know, build up enough on that second coat. Um, I really don't know how I feel about this one. It's like I like it, but then at the same time, I'm kind of unsure about it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this polish. Next up, we have Sanding in Stilettos, and this is like a pearl nude polish. Um, right off the bat, I don't like this one. These kinds of colors and then the pearlized finish just don't seem to go well together. It just looks very, it looks like a very vintage polish, like something old, something we would have seen, you know, 20 plus years ago. Definitely not my favorite, and just like the uh, chartreuse yellow one that we just saw, it had some um, black spots, some dark spots there after the second coat, so unfortunately I did have to go back in for a third coat, and I just feel like OPI has been around long enough where we shouldn't need to be doing three coats with their polishes, you know, unless they're like jelly polishes or something like that. Three coats, it just shouldn't need to happen at all. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm being too harsh, but I just feel like after 40 years in business, you know, you just shouldn't need those third coats. Next up, we have Surf Naked, and after I saw the name of this polish, my initial thought was, please don't. <laughs> Anyways, Surf Naked is a sky blue pearlized polish. So I do like the color of this one. Again, these pearl finishes, it, a lot of people aren't into them, but obviously some people are if OPI keeps making them. So it's just a matter of do you like pearlized finishes or not? For me, I'm kind of on the fence, but I think I lean more towards no, I don't really like them. And the same thing happened here as the last two polishes that we've seen. There was dark spots after that second coat, so I had to go in for a third coat to cover those up. Um, it, it just that was just a little frustrating because it's it's like the opacity and everything should have been there. So I don't know, those, seeing those dark spots after two coats with these just was, um, was really frustrating. 
Next up, we have Skate to the Party. And now we're getting into the creams of the collection. This is a bright violet cream. And it's really a beautiful color. Unfortunately, though, I did need three coats for this one, too. After the second coat, I had a lot of dark spots. Um, you guys may not be able to tell too much after the second coat, but I could definitely see those dark spots in person. There was no hiding them. Also, I want to mention that almost Almost all of these polishes in this collection dry to a semi-matte finish. Um, even the pearlized polishes dry that way, so they dry kind of dull, kind of like a satin finish, so not full-blown matte, but pretty close. Um, so if you don't like that, you're going to want to top these with a glossy top coat, but I always recommend a top coat with a manicure. It just helps your manicure last longer. Next up, we have I Quit My Day Job, and this is a bubble gum pink cream. And you guys, I wish that I could tell you that this was a beautiful two-coater on me and, you know, great polish, but unfortunately, it just wasn't a two-coater. I had to do three coats of this color, too. And once again, I just feel like OPI has been in business for a long time making polishes, over 40 years, and I feel like they should have a bubblegum pink cream formula down to two coats, you know, and that's it. Um, unfortunately, though, just like every other polish so far that we've talked about except one, I did have dark spots after that second coat. And once again, sometimes the camera kind of messes with what, you know, you're seeing in person um, and you don't always see those dark spots, but I promise you, you guys in person, those dark spots were there and they were dark enough where it was definitely noticeable. Next up, we have I'm Yacht Leaving, and this is an electric turquoise cream. I really like this color. It's very, very beautiful. Um, you know, I, I want to mention that the formula on all of these, uh, the creams and stuff, they're, they're very similar. It, it's not that the formula is bad because it, it's a workable formula. Like, it's not difficult to work with or anything like that. It's just that after the second coat, most of these, I think there was maybe only one or two polishes in this entire collection that only needed two coats. Most of these do require three coats. And that's just frustrating. I feel like it's, you know, at this point, it's 2023. Um, these brands have had many, many years of, you know, perfecting formulas. And by this time, we should be able to have uh, two coat pastels or two coat neons. And, you know, so that that's what, what kind of frustrates me a little bit. But as far as the colors in this collection, they're beautiful. And, you know, the formulas are not bad to work with. You just have to be okay with doing three coats. Next up, we have Charge It to Their Room, and this is a deep periwinkle cream. So this one has a, like, jelly-like formula. It's easy to work with. There's no issues with any of these formulas. I would let you guys know if a formula was difficult to work with or too thick or too thin, um, but in reality, there really wasn't anything too difficult about this formula at all, just that it wasn't as completely opaque as I would like it to be after the second coat, but this one, this one only needed two coats. This is a gorgeous polish. I really, really love this one. Oh, it's really beautiful. I can't wait to get this on my nails during the summertime. Next up, we've got summer Monday through Fridays. I don't really understand that name, um, but this one is a bright green cream. And you guys already know we're going to have to do at least three coats to reach full opacity with this one. This one, I kind of let that third coat pass a little bit more because usually with colors like this, you're, you're always going to need that third coat. Yes, well, do I absolutely wish that we could get some of these colors in great two coat formulas? Of course, but you know, I can't be asking too much here. <laughs> After the third coat, the polish looked absolutely stunning. And like I said, the formula was very easy to work with. Nothing, you know, difficult or anything like that. So I did really like this color. Oh, it's really beautiful. This one would actually make a really great pedicure color too. So yeah, I definitely like this one a lot.
Next up, we've got Make Out Side, and this is a bright pink cream. So this one is a little bit darker than the other pink that we just saw. Um, you guys, it, this one, don't you think it should be a two-coater, especially because it is a little bit of a darker color? I definitely think this one should be a, a two-coater. Unfortunately, once again, after that second coat, I did have some dark spots, so I had to go in with that third coat. I'm sorry if I'm just repeating myself over and over again here in this video, guys, but that's really how the the formulas of these polishes are, you know? They looked um, good on that second coat, and I was hoping, ooh, you know, full coverage, but no, I did have those dark spots. Again, formulas were easy to work with, and they weren't running or pulling anywhere or anything like that so that is definitely a plus especially when you have to do more than two coats next up we've got flex on the beach and this is a bold coral cream polish i really like coral polishes they look very good against my skin tone uh, the formula of this one was easy to work with it wasn't too thin or too thick um, i did need a third coat though because once again i did have some dark spots after the second coat i do want to remind you that these polishes all dry down to a semi-matte slash satin finish so what that means is that it's not full blown matte but they are not glossy finishes either they are more on the satin side um, so if you don't like that you're definitely going to need a glossy top coat for these uh, see the end result is really really gorgeous for most of these polishes like I said before you just have to be okay with adding that third coat Next up, we have Stay Out All Bright, and this is a Vivid Yellow Cream. So, unfortunately, <laughs> with this one, guys, I actually needed a fourth coat. I did three coats, I looked at my nails, and I could still very clearly see dark spots, so I had to go in for a fourth coat. Once again, though, the formula was easy to work with. Like, it wasn't a, a you know, three slash four coat polish that you had to, like, work hard to, to get opaque. It wasn't. It went on very easy. Um, but, yeah, this is a fourth coater for me, a four coater for me, unfortunately. I don't know how um, somebody with longer nails will fare with these polishes, but I feel like if I needed three coats for my short nails... You guys might need three coats or more for uh, any longer nails. So, um, yeah, it just makes me sad because I really do like this color. I do like all the colors in this collection. They're really beautiful, very bright, very vivid for the summertime. But, um, you know, I usually don't find myself wanting to do three coats. So I tend to stay away from polishes like that. And here we have the entire OPI Make the Rules collection. There you have it guys, swatches of the OPI Make the Rules collection for summer 2023. What did you guys think of these polishes? Overall, like I mentioned throughout the video, I actually really like the colors in this collection. They're absolutely beautiful, perfect polishes and colors for the summertime. Um, as far as the four pearlized finish polishes, I'm not quite sure how I feel about them. I kind of wish OPI would stop doing so many pearl polishes. Um, I just feel like they do other kinds of finishes better and they just look better than pearlized finishes and I don't know I just feel like a pearlized finish is uh, something that we saw a lot more many years ago and now I, I don't know I don't feel like it's as popular as it may have once been as for the creams um, uh, I really wished that these would have been just regular two coat creams I feel like OPI has a great cream formula and we just didn't really see it here for these um, again I like the colors but uh, it just makes me sad with this one because I really do like the colors but unfortunately with three coaters and maybe even four coaters here or there I just don't find myself reaching for um, polishes like that very much especially when I have some beautiful SEs or even other OPIs that have a good two coat formula. I also want to mention that the name of this collection and then the names of the polishes, of some polishes at least, were a little bit odd for me. I feel like the theme didn't quite hit here very well. Um, 
like make the rules. It, I, don't, I don't know. I just feel like the theme wasn't as uh, good as we've seen from OPI before. Once again, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I miss their travel series themes. Um, those were really beautiful polishes and great, you know, names. And I don't know. I just really wish they would go back to that. I feel like they're trying to appeal to a younger audience right now. And the collections just aren't quite doing it for me so far this year for 2023. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.